Michael Lindemann guarding Gidry. Tyler McKinney with the early steal. Up and in, and the Jays have a two-point lead. Talked to Coach Altman before the game. I know he was worried about a possible letdown. They had a big comeback win over SIU. Corbin wastes no time as he hits the three-pointer. Brody Darren fighting for position, but McKinney's going to fire the three. He's off the mark, but Darren brings down the rebound. McKinney again for three. In and out again. House with a quick follow. It's in the valley and rebound. Bojang's off the mark, and McKinney brings down the rebound as the Jays look to run. Larry House from 16, and he finds nothing but net. House has played well of late, and he likes it little pull-up runner. He's a guy who kind of shoots better on the move than he does a spot shooter, and that was a, his type of shot. McKinney comes up with a steal. Corver wide open, but he feeds House to the alley and the lay-in. And one. There's a foul call on the far side of the floor as well. And you have to wonder if Tom Richardson wants an early timeout. Things have gotten out of hand here early. His Redbirds really sped up making a lot of mistakes. Illinois State within two. It's the Redbirds basketball. Close to a five-second call. Kellen Milner just into the ballgame. Comes up with a steal. Milner drives baseline. Soft touch off the rim, but he can't get the basket. But Joe Dabbert there for the follow. Two weeks ago, he's a guy that makes the most of his minutes. He won't see a, a lot. But he's very productive when he's in the ball game. How many coaches in the Valley would take Mike Grimes on their team? I mean, this guy just brings his lunch bucket every day. Milner fires the three, and he hits the shot. Kellen Milner keeps firing until he makes one. A great CBS comedy action. Back to live action at the Omaha Civic Auditorium as Mike Lindemann beats Larry House up, up, and away. Beautiful feet, 10 points or more. Let's look at it again. A set play out of the timeout. Lindemann with a beautiful time lob to House, who finishes it off. But credit basketball teams help them. If this was a senior dominated team that had lost seven or other, there'd probably be some give up in them, but not this group. McKinney for three. Mike Lindemann. He gets the friendly home rim. Mike Lindemann, not the quickest shot in the world, responding to anything the Jays do. Bowden will take the three-pointer, and he hits it. It's defensive way. Most definitely. Alexander in the paint, he can't hold on to it, and Kyle Korver comes away with the steal. Now the Jays looking to push the pace. Lindemann on the baseline. He hits it. A minute ago it was a four-point lead. It's back up to a nine-point lead. And again the Jays get the turnover. Funk with a pass to Grimes. And the crowd likes it. Nice catch by Grimes that time. That was a difficult catch in four, but they answer with a 7-0 run. And look at the pass from the freshman Nate Funk. Great catch by Mike Grimes. Hands, it's you cannot coach hands, and that's nice soft hands by Grimes at the charity stripe. He has three points tonight. And he stays with three, but Milder with a skying rebound and he gets the put back. Here before halftime. Darren triple team. He finds Nate Funk is wide open. That freshman finds the net from behind the arc. Welcome back to the Omaha Civic Auditorium. 3-10 to go in the first half. Creighton with a 47-36 lead. There's Funk with the baseline jumper, and the freshman has hit two straight shots for the Blue Jays. As long a possession as Illinois State has had tonight. I think the shot clock was still at 22 when they shot it. The oh, Anthony Mountain plus the foul. What a great drive in the baseline by the senior as he gets the layup and the foul. And it, what set that up was Bowden's quickness. Crossover dribble got Gidry off stride a little bit and then Bowden just... Bowden again with the first quick step and a State. We're going to take a timeout for a game for a news break. We'll be back later on with the halftime statistics. Again, it's halftime. With the starting line of the Jays are 31 and 5. Larry House up, up and away. 
with some authority that time was House. Watch the crisp passing. Beautiful flip to House. Strong to the hole. Larry second hand. De'Anthony Bowden kicks to Mike Lindeman. The southpaw hits the three-pointer. They're going to win some Valley games from here to the end of the season. Big Joe gets the feed from Tyler McKinney. It doesn't get in easier than that. Minutes of this half. Bowden jump step and he finds a wide open layup. Split the defenders that time and it's a perfect five count almost. Beautiful pass by McKinney that time after getting the steal, almost a no-look pass to Corver. Check out the steal by Tyler McKinney, then the great pass to Kyle Corver. Great hustle by McKinney, the almost no-look flip to Corver, who does so much success in the mid-90s, the four straight 21 seasons, that it's almost unthinkable that this program is one in 13. Great above the rim work by Grimes. Mike Grimes and Larry House fighting for the offensive rebound. Mike Grimes gets it and Creighton is up by Trembark. He can't hold on to the basketball. What are they going to call? He can't hold on to it. DeAnthony Bowden looked to run. Look at the senior. Mike Grimes with the basket. Nate Funk for three. And the freshman is off the mark, but Larry House gets the rebound, the bucket, and the foul. So Larry House gets the rebound, and now has a career high eight, and he's going to go to the line to try and give him 19 points on the night. Closing in on a double double and just a night where he's feeling. Good skip pass. Lindemann will feed House. There's 14 to go on the shot clock. Larry will quick turn around, big shot. Larry House now with 21 points. That'd be a career on the play because of Arnold being out of the game on fouls. Corver, nice dish to Joe Gabbard up, up and away. Again, the unselfishness of Kyle Corver could have taken the three pointer. Nice jump pass, Joe Dabber with the flush. Impressive. I have the feeling all night Creighton's been in control of this game, but it's a 15-point game, and that's the, the credit of Illinois State and hot shooting in this game. Cody Darren backs into the paint, and the big fella has... Corver for three. Kyle Corver hits his first three-pointer in the second half, just his second trifecta of the game. How to attack the three-quarter court. Kyle Corbett with a long range, and it incites the crowd of 8,729 at the Civic Auditorium. A lot of them now playing like a team, right? 10th in the country with the big lead. Corbett, oh, had his feet set, finds Mike Grimes, who hits the pseudo slam. And again, an impressive offensive display tonight by Illinois State. That was impressive. 